Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're at the Cathedral of Manicellus. Let's go into the hole. There's another pathway over there. You've been having fun? D did you slay the fingers, Ronnie? Oh my god. I do not like what they look like. What am I looking at exactly? Well, first it looked like muscle, but actually I think it's r rope, like fiber. Find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the Lord, and once all is done, we shall see each other once more. Oh, Ronnie's so cool. Dark Moon Greatsword. Oh, hello. I was thinking being a greatsword would take a lot of strength, but it doesn't. I can actually wield this one-handed. It takes a lot of int. Ooh. And it causes frost as well. Of course, Ronnie's like a frost witch. A moon greatsword bestowed by a carrion queen upon her spouse to honor long-standing tradition. One of the legendary armaments. Finally, a legendary armament that like actually fits my class. Ronnie's sigil is a full moon, cold and leaden, and this sword is but a beam of its light. And then a special moonlight greatsword. Raise the sword aloft, bathing it in the light of the dark moon. Temporarily increases magic attack power and imbues blade with frost. Hmm. Well, the blade already does frost, so I guess it makes it two more frost. Charge attacks release blasts of moonlight. That sounds so cool. Increases magic attack power. Do they mean of the sword or just even for spells? Let's try it out. Quick attack. This is strong attack. And special. I wonder how long it stays charged for. So it does extra frost damage, should boost my magic attack. Ooh, bloody. 
Quick attack. Ah, there we go. Strong attack does that. And if I charge it again, does it do anything? Just refreshes the buff. It's a decent range on that. On the moonlight beam that shoots out. I have a feeling this might become my new main weapon. I definitely need to upgrade this. The buff's still on it. Right? Yeah. Ah, now it's gone. I'd say that was maybe 30 seconds. So, I... think that's it for this place. Let's go upgrade the sword. Well, we're back to the Halleck tree now, the land of two shots, but I think we should stand a bit of a better chance this time. We have this new sword. I fully upgraded it to plus 10. Uh, we have a couple new spells. Also, they put their shields up a lot, so I put the hammer talisman on, which enhances stamina reducing attacks against blockers. So I remember I ran here, but I never really explored out here and down. I also haven't gone that way. What do I want to try? Terra Magica. Right, there's the Dark Moon. I want to see how much damage the Dark Moon does. Let's just get their attention first. Come on, put the bow away. There you go. Eight hundred damage. Okay, yeah, not that different from the other moon. Okay, yeah, this spell's pretty great. Gives them a little stagger each time it hits. Hmm, what else might I use? Well, let's try the Moonlight Greatsword. kill them before they can even get an arrow off if I do this and then this and then this yeah
Okay, let's go back to trying this. Let's see if I can get a backstab. I feel like they are backstabable. Oops, I did a strong attack. That won't do a backstab. Yeah, the sword's pretty good. These enemies are definitely still hard, but they're definitely easier. There's those, like, gunners up there. Might be able to kill them from here. Eh, I don't think that one's gonna hit. Oh, nice. So I've already been up there. I've already been down there. But I haven't been over here. Although I think it's going to link up with somewhere I've already been, but we'll see. I'm not used to using Greatsword, it's so slow. Ow. Oh, my shield's terrible at blocking holy damage. I think I've been here, but it's been over a month since I played, so... I'll just consider this de-rusting.
feel like I remember that route. Yeah, this body had something and I've looted it. Okay. Then... I think that means there's only one way to go, I think. Just back here. The Elvile inner chamber, was it? Try luring out. What do we got? Oh. Yeah, we need a different weapon for that. <laughs> I like how the other ones didn't get up, but they did turn their head. Can they actually get over the route, though? Yes. No! I was too high. Rotten Crystal Sword. Straight Sword. Causes slight Scarlet Rot buildup. 50. That's weird. Slight? What's the point of the word slight? Because it says how much it does next to it. Just the 50, right? Sword fashioned from pure crystal. A deed impossible for a human. It festers with Scarlet Rot. Enwreathed with powerful magic, its attack scales with intelligence. I wonder if it's ugly. Like the other crystally things that I've had that look really hideous. Yeah, it's hideous. Just got my potions back. Do they respawn, by the way? Hmm, they do, but... That's fine. Don't need to go that way. Is 
So many eggs. Is that a creature or just dirt? I can't tell, but that is a lake of scarlet rot for sure. Looks like we might be going down there actually at some point. Also, I hear something making a slight noise. Sounds kind of like a bug. <laughs> Look at these pink butterflies. So pretty. Scarlet rod ahead. Be wary of left. Okay. I don't think I need the blocker thing anymore. And I definitely need scarlet rod protection. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. You. It's a tougher version of one of those things. Probably want some boluses here to get rid of Scarlet Rot. Target lock. Hmm. Is that more of those bug things? I think. It's a little bit hard to tell. I'm not sure if this will reach. No. Loretta's master? Oh, that's not one of those bug things. Maybe it's the weak bug things? I think we've seen them before without, like, legs or something. They were crawling around. More of the, um... Oh, they're probably coming from the eggs. I just made that connection. But yeah, it's probably not fully developed ones. Just, I'm just gonna get Scarlet Rot. I don't think there's any getting away from that.
hear another bug. Never mind, that grace is too far away. <laughs> I thought I'd just be right in there, but let's just see what's over here. Why can't I target you? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's what it lead to, leads to. It looks like a dead end. Let's go. Hmm. Praise the ranged battle, but there's no enemy. That makes me think something's going to appear. Also, that's colored like it's a really special item. I'm gonna get this side of grace. I think that might be a maybe a boss fight, possibly. Like a mini boss or something. Alright, bring it on. Knew it. sure if it can actually get up here? Am I safe? Ah. Some more mind. Seven more FP.
Where is this leading to? Down there is where I'm supposed to go. But this also leads somewhere. And what about this? Hmm, I think I can make that. There's a ladder down, right there. Oh man. It's kind of a maze of branches. Okay, over here, that's where I just came from. So there's no point in going there. See if there's anything down here. Oh, there's a hole there. So I think this stuff is leading, like, just down, generally, into that building. I could fall down to the next level. There's an item beneath me, but that's just where the building is. We'll end up there anyway, I think. see anything on that level directly beneath me of this pillar. Ooh. Let's see where this ladder goes. Oh, it goes all the way to the ground. Well, I think that would skip the building. Okay, let's go on the roof then. Range battle and then down required. Ah, yeah, I see them. Babies with their little baby spells.
Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. Wait, is that a better version of this? Enormously boosts physical damage negation. Whoa. I didn't know there was a fourth tier of these. Same description? Yeah, pretty much. I wonder how big the difference is between this and the last tier. Let me check. So starting from the first tier, it's 10% physical damage negation, 13%, 17%, and then this one is 20. So 20. That's really good. that's going to take us outside? Like down to the ground? Ooh, side of grace. And a boss fight up there. Halitree roots. Ooh. Okay, there's a lot of ways to go. Ah, <laughs> uh, parrying. I think they're joking about the fact that they're like, I don't know, holding that up to parry, I guess. What is that? I guess the roots, huh? explore any of that I think I want to go up here so we have this door out oh we're level with the ground now so this will probably just lead outside then yeah over here's where the ladder was going to go down to
Terra Magica is such a good spell. Love work pickers bell bearing three. Somebody walking, and it wasn't a bug. Ah. I have no health potions and only one FP. Oh. Baby, go back home. Baby, go back home. Good baby. Yeah, go back home until you grow a couple more legs. Must have been you. I can probably kill you before you do anything. Be wary of crouching. I don't know, seems fine to me. Oh, you're one of the strong ones. You heal. Why does this feel like a trap? Guess it isn't.
Oh, you can jump. Beautiful. I think that might be a stronger one. I have a hard time telling them apart. Nope, that's a weak one. Is that it? Yeah, it looks like that area I was exploring before didn't really lead anywhere in particular. Another little detour from the Halleck tree. We were googling what to do for Millicent's quest, and apparently I missed some things. So I just figured out what the next step was that I haven't done yet, and that is meet them at Windmill Heights, next to the Windmill Village. Yet again, the arm you gave me truly is a thing of wonder. It feels just like my own. Even handling a sword. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people, but I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. I would have you call upon me in battle. It is the only way. Hmm. I would have you call It is the only way. Well, it doesn't give me any hints on where to go next, so let me check the wiki again. Next place she appears is the ancient Snow Valley ruins in the mountaintop of the Giants. To think we'd meet in such a place. What could your purpose possibly... No. I know well enough who you are. And what I know is good enough for me. Call upon me again. In battle. Should you have the need. I'm searching for a fort to the north of the ruins. I heard the master of the fort was given a medallion that allowed him to visit the Halig tree. Indeed, I believe that is where Melania will be found. 
The Halic tree is hidden somewhere in these northern lands. Next, she's in the prayer room of the Halic tree. Again we meet. I can only surmise our purposes are aligned. In which case, allow me to explain myself. I am of Melania's blood, but in what capacity I know not. I could be sister, daughter, or an offshoot. Whatever the case though, I am certain of a kinship between us. There is something I must return to Melania. The will that was once her own. The dignity. The sense of self. That allowed her to resist the call of the Scarlet Rot. The pride she abandoned. To meet Radan's measure. Next step of the quest is here at the drainage channel. Where I defeated that mini boss. After defeating the mini boss, when you load back into the area, you'll find two summon signs to either assist Millicent or invade and challenge Millicent. Yeah, I'm glad I googled this because like who would defeat a mini boss and then reload into the area, come back and just look for some summon signs like God, is it obscure? <laughs> uh, but yeah, obviously I'm going to help Millicent. I think I need Night Comet. Ah! You have that spell. Oh, dang it. Let's try melee. Oh my god, Millicent. Wait, like, is it gonna kick me out? Yeah. <laughs> Christ! Let's try Moonblade, because I think that might be able to hit a bunch of them at one time. No. Okay, that was definitely working, though. Wait, it said Millicent Sisters defeated. That might have actually completed it? I guess we'll see. Ah, yeah. That did it. Rotten Winged Sword Insignia. Greatly raises attack power with successive attacks. Talisman depicting a raised prosthetic blade in honor bestowed upon the Valkyries who serve the goddess of Rot. Greatly raises attack power with successive attacks. The four sisters were born in the swamp of Aeonia and came to the Halic tree under the Aegis of Gowrie. And yet those buds were doomed those buds were doomed to never blossom. That talisman could be good if you had a weapon that attacked really fast, like a dagger, but for a great sword, not so good. Each boost that it does to your successive attacks only activates after three attacks. Okay, Millicent is here now, just by the pool. They seem not so good. Oh. Hello. Thank you for lending your hand. Without your help, I could not have defeated that quartet. I feel as if I've been in your debt from beginning to end. Thank you. With your help, I was able to live as my own person, if only in passing. But this is where things end. I paused to even tell you, but I took out the needle myself. Tell whoever put you up to this that if I am to flower into something other than myself, 
I would rather rot into nothingness as I am. Please, let me pass alone. The scarlet rot writhes now. Worse than ever. Soon, I won't be more than a mound of flesh. Curse-laden. Untouchable. I wouldn't want such a thing to bring you harm. I think we then leave them and come back. And we get the unalloyed gold needle back. Rest in peace, Millicent. With that unalloyed gold needle, I should be able to turn it into Michaela's needle after the millennia boss fight, I think, in this area, which will then allow me to undo the frenzy, and then I can get an ending different than the frenzy ending. Having frenzy apparently locks you into the frenzy ending, and I want the Ronnie one. There's a Ronnie ending, and I have to get it. I don't know what the ending is exactly, but if it has something to do with Ronnie, then I want it, since apparently I'm now married to Ronnie, so... <laughs> Gotta, gotta fight for my wife, you know? Mm, let's get a level up. Let's put another one into mind. And then I think I'm going to end this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to explore around the Halleck Tree roots.